counties here in Georgia are testing out a new system that election leaders believe will make early voting easier and safer. Look at it. It's called a poll pad. Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie got a first-hand look today at the new project and how it works. Mark joins us now live from Marietta and continues our live Team 2 coverage. Mark. Right, it's elections and registration director says Cobb County is the biggest of 18 counties using a new piece of equipment in use behind this door that could make Georgia early voting more secure, less prone to errors, and faster for voters at early voting polls, and it's a new kind of poll pad. This is a big boost to election security? Yes, because right now in the current early voting system and for the past 20 years, we had to have nearly 2,000 individuals be able to log in to the voter registration system live in the actual voter registration system. Now there's security around that. They have permission levels and everything. However, it's always been a risk. This eliminates that risk 100% in the counties that are running this. A new poll pad pilot project produces more secure early voting, less prone to controversy provoking human error. That's faster for voters. This seem like a faster experience? A bit, says interim Deputy Secretary of State Gabriel Sterling. Piloting this in these 18 counties has really proved to be a godsend for the counties where it's being used. We're looking at rolling it out statewide for the next election. The voter gives the worker their ID, or if they don't have a driver's license type ID, then the worker can manually search. They will turn the screen so that the voter can sign the voter certificate. And they're uh, looking at that to make sure that is their correct record. You flip it back around <laughs> and insert the voter card and encode the correct voter record. The voter can take that to the ballot marking device and cast their ballot on the scanner. The previous system, it was much easier to make a mistake. Sterling says the system now used in the 18 pilot counties replaces one still in use in most Georgia counties where workers had to manually look up the voters' information in a database. In the old system, there was a two-step process, so you were prone to human error. A database, he says, to which roughly 2,000 election workers across the state had access, creating a potential security issue. The old system for somebody who knew what they were doing, was more vulnerable to cyber attack, for instance? Potentially, yes. If somebody knew what they were doing and they were an insider, which we always have to be on alert for. Cobb County Elections and Registration Director Janine Eveler. We are the largest county that is part of the pilot, and uh, we saw the benefits of doing it in one piece of equipment instead of having a, a laptop and a poll pad. I don't see any way to lose any votes. I just don't see it. Everything is electronically, digitally calculated, and I trust it. The flow of voters has been much faster. Secretary Raffensperger has always told us to look for ways to improve both security and voter experience. We get a twofer on this one. And we're back live. Sterling says, with the old early voting system, he knows of no evidence an insider cyber attack ever occurred. But in today's environment, it's important to minimize that risk. So how big a boost to election security? He says it's too early to know that. It's a question of degree that the old system was very secure, but this new poll pad makes it that much more secure. Reporting live in Marietta, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News.